inverted r2 r ladder dsc it would be more convenient to understand the working of the circuit if we start with the ladder network and i'm sorry the tail end resistance is always 2r and the circuit i have constructed for the circuit i am discussing is for a 4 bit digital input and the corresponding uh, analog output and it's it would be like uh, discussion would be easier if we would find out the drop across a b c d of course it's a vr by 2 it may be vr by 4 but the reason we how we how did we get that vr by 2 it appears vr by 2 over here it one fourth of vr one eighth of vr and one sixteenth of vr like that but a small discussion regarding that one then we can go for the uh, how the final output may be for any like uh, for supposing it's a zero zero one zero one and like that all right so the first point to be remembered is now this will be the msb this part this will be the msb side and here this it's a lsb signed lsb and this has to be remember and how did we get this vr by 2 over here um, getting back to the ladder network from this very point from this very node from this very node uh, 2r is in parallel with the 2r 2r is in parallel with the 2r and two resistors in parallel with each other parallel to each other we have 2r parallel to 2r it's the resultant will be 2r into 2r upon 2r plus 2r and the resultant will be 4r square by 4r and then we have that r this says something this result is trying to say something in this network instead of instead of having these two resistors uh, we can remove these two resistors and only one resistor can be replaced with the, these two at this point or at that point that doesn't matter instead of these two we can plug in only single resistor with the value r and remember it's continuation like we have that ground over here uh, that r may be connected here or else there yeah we have that one all right and these two are in series added in the sense from this point to this point we don't need to go for these individual two resistors um, like we can go for only single resistor added single resistor and so we have two r over here all right once again from this node these two are in parallel with each other so it can be we can remove this one we can remove this one this is still existing see you can see that very clearly you can place uh, a resultant r at this point or at this point that doesn't matter so going over here with the r right and once again once again this doesn't exist anymore like after this reduction these two are in series once again can be added uh, we can remove this one and uh, uh, this resistor can be made to 2r once again these two are in parallel with each other shunt with each other uh, two resistors can be removed and one resistor can be replaced over here with the value once again this one 2r in parallel to r that will be resultant r hold on uh, here straight away it's a vr over here vr will be appearing over here vr will be appearing over here at at a we have vr all right at node a we straight away nothing is in between so straight away that vr will be appearing over here uh, and also here we are trying to evaluate if what is what will be the drop across vb vb all right so according to potential divider rule according to potential divider rule that may be from this side or it may be through this side uh, for convenience that one we want the voltage drop across this point with respect to ground and potential divider rule says potential divider rule says uh, the required voltage is across this resistor so and let it be vb b that node b vb which is equal to that resistance in the sense r into the supply vr upon the total resistance from this end to this end whatever so it's a 2r in the sense uh, we don't have that anymore vr upon 2 vb b b in the sense we have that uh, what how much it is it's a uh, at b we have vr by 2 this node at that node all right in the sense over here over here we have vr by 2 so continue with that one continue go back to the previous i mean go back to the original network and let's find out what is existing over here so this is the point and we have that um, what 2r over here and 
trying to find out the drop across C isn't it so we have a 2R again constructing this back and R also exists over here R and this 2R 2R and another R over here and another 2R getting back to the this one all right now to find out the drop across this node this will be the source and we don't have this anymore all right so we have a ground these two are in shunt with each other this result it says this result says remove away this one and from this node and place a single resistor at this point from this node all right with the resistance r and once again these two are in series with each other remove the two resistances also replace with a single resistance which is twice of uh, i mean i just adding it once again all right and these two are in shunt with each other uh, this comes in between so 2R parallel to 2R uh, remove these two remove these two and replace with one resistance across this node which is R again and we are interested to find the drop at this point isn't it now uh, this or this same and here like uh, potential divider rule says if we want the drop across this point this point what do we have let it be C and we need VC that resistance across which we are interested to find out the voltage in the sense r we have r into the supply now this will be the supply towards that end not vr all right so vr by 2 whole by total resistance from this end to that one how much it is it's a twice r so this one this doesn't appear anymore and it's a vr upon Four. this comes down and gets multiplied so what it says at c we have v r upon four where is that c over here over here we have v r upon four and the same procedure gives uh, reveals that at d we have v r upon eight check this um yeah v r half and uh, it's so on all right so that's how uh, the voltages appear at this nodes a b c and d that's how it works all right and get now this one this as it is this resistor uh, ladder network is replaced over there and uh, remember uh, the input reference voltage is given to the inverting so inverting nine it's it's connected to the inverting and here the non-inverting terminal is grounded as soon as we say some as soon as we point out this one something else has to come into the picture automatically in the sense even this point is at virtual ground this does matters even this um, yeah this even this node is at virtual ground physically grounded and because of the high input impedance etc etc the properties of an operational amplifier we have a virtual ground virtual ground at this point which place like that point um, changes it's a game changer like thing all right and if if the binary input is one 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 if the binary input is one 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 for supposing one 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 all the switches will be connected to the inverting terminal and if it is zero 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 like uh, it will be connected to the non-inverting terminal which is grounded in the sense if it is one it will be connected to the circuit to the inverting terminal and if it is zero it will be connecting to the we have a switch or switch connection over here which is operated through the binary input once again when it is one it will be connected to the inverting terminal this bit and if it is zero over here we have that switch connect gets connected to the non-inverting terminal all right so uh, let's like uh, supposing that i1 over here i2 over here i3 over here and supposing i4 over there all right so for supposing we have this input and all the the switch is connected to this position uh, assuming the switch is connected to this position this position in the sense i1 flows in this direction i2 over here and the total current will be flowing in this line all right and let's say it's if through the feedback resistor current through the feedback resistor in that case if will be equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus i4 according to this arrangement all right 
and how can uh, how can we write down this i1 from the circuit i1 is over here from this point to to the virtual ground from this point to the virtual ground how it is from this node i1 i1 can be written as vr the reference voltage upon this resistance to r over here from this node to this point only one resistance over here so 2r this is this is the equation we can write for i1 all right in the similar manner what will be i2 that node voltage by resistance what it is vr by 2 by twice of r which is equal to vr upon 4 r for i 2 all right in the similar fashion we can go for i 3 which is i 3 here we have i 3 vr upon 4 by twice of r which is equal to vr by uh, 8 r this comes down and gets multiplied over here so vr by 8 r in the same way what about i 4 then i 4 will be equal to vr upon 16 r all right reference voltage by 16 r what if i uh, n one more thing i forgot to mention over here with the b1 sum like b1 let's say it's a it's a b1 i1 equal to entire thing into b1 b1 all right and i2 is also b2 into this one and this one b2 i3 also entire thing into b3 and i4 into b4 like that so b this activates bit one like uh, for supposing if you go for uh, except for considering an example like if you go for one zero zero one b1 will be one b2 will be zero b3 will be zero and b4 will be one and then we have the corresponding analog output v naught we'll we'll get that something all right so in this case and getting back to this one getting back to this one what is that if if is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus i4 which is this what is that vr upon 2r into b1 plus i2 is this one vr upon 4r into b2 plus i3 is this one vr reference voltage upon 8r into b3 plus and what else i4 we have vr by 16r into it's a b3 it's a b4 this is what we have guys something can be taken out as common from all the terms what do we have we have we are reference voltage upon r can be taken out from all the four uh, bits and what else we have inside so 1 upon 2 b1 plus 1 upon 4 b2 b2 because uh, vr has come out and r also has come out plus vr upon sorry vr has come out isn't it vr has come out so we don't have that vr anymore 1 upon 8 into b3 third bit plus uh, 1 upon 16 into b4 all right so this could be the this is the reduction from here and from the circuit we have another equation for if if you watch carefully if you watch carefully we have another equation for if uh, just consider this one from this point to this point we have resistor and voltage drop on either side of the resistor it's a zero because of the virtual ground at this point at this node and on the other end we have v naught so if from this point to this uh, this end if can be written as this one zero minus v naught upon the resistance rf in the sense we have minus v naught upon rf this if and that could be plugged in the place of if over here what do we have minus v naught upon rf right and this rf shifting to that side we have we have which is equal to which is equal to vr as it is rf over that side rf upon r we don't have this rf anymore and v naught will be negative times 
and this says it's a inverted r to r ladder dac inverted all right we have the reverse negative over here and what if the arrangement in the ladder network arrangement and in the circuit what what if we have what if we have rf value which is equal to r in the sense 1k and 1k rf and so we don't have like it's one and one it gets cancelled and this will be the final output all right one and one and for supposing we the digital input is this one one zero zero one msb being over here and lsb over here one corresponding to yes it exists it's a one bit one is one and bit two it's a zero it's a it's a zero all right bit three also is a zero and we have bit four to be one bit one to be one so the final output v naught will be equal to minus vr into for this one okay assuming this input this digital input this uh, binary input the circuit and the corresponding output would be it would be 1 upon 2 all right because the b bit 1 is 1 and these two are zeros and one again plus 1 upon 16 we have that negation over here and so the name inverted all right so which is equal to what if for supposing for supposing what if we have the reference voltage to be 5 volts 5 volts in the sense minus 5 uh, volts into 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 16 which this gives a uh, 2.8125 something like that all right now for this input for this binary input this will be the analog i mean analog output from the d ac please don't uh, don't get confused that it's a binary 9 so output should be 9 volts no it's not like that all right so thanks for watching